Microsoft introduced a new category back in 2012 when it introduced the Surface. Use it as a tablet or you can use it as a laptop with the attached keyboard. Well, I have something that Microsoft just released today. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my unboxing and first look at the Microsoft Surface Pro 6, back in black. Today's video is brought to you by AlexandraStylus.com, makers of some great replacement tips for your Surface Pen. I'll put all the links below for more information. Armed with an 8th generation quad core CPU, an improved brighter display, and promised all day battery life wrapped in a sleek matte black finish, Microsoft may just have a winner on their hands. Here's a quick rundown of the specs. You get a 12.3 inch pixel sense display. You can get it in the Core i5 or the Core i7. The Core i5 is fanless. They're eighth generation quad core CPUs, either eight or 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and storage options starting at 128 gigabytes all the way up to one terabyte NVMe SSD storage. Pricing starts at $899, and for that you get the Core i5 with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of SSD storage. I chose the black model with 8GB of RAM, 256GB of SSD storage, and that comes in at $1199 US. I'll put all the links below for more information and where you can buy one. The type covers an additional $129, and the Surface Pen is another $99 on top of that. Want to see more videos like this? Well, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification icon. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check me out on my social media, especially Twitter, because that's where I post all the latest updates. Packaging is premium as we've come to expect with the Microsoft Surface line. This is no exception. Opening the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself, and it pretty much feels like last year's model. It does have the same size and weight. You get some documentation, as well as your 44-watt charger, and it uses the Surface connector. There's no USB-C here. You get your US plug as well. And holding the unit again for that first time, I love this matte black finish. It is certainly elegant and very sleek looking. And so far, not too many fingerprints, so that's a good sign that they used a good coating on this to prevent major fingerprints on this. And lifting the kickstand reveals your micro SD card slot for storage expansion. One notable missing port, USB-C, and there's no Thunderbolt 3 support. Another disappointment, I thought this was the year they might finally put one in the Surface Pro line. Now the ports you do get are all located on the right side of the device. You have your Surface connector, USB 3.0, and the mini display port out. Again, I wish this did have USB-C. I'm a bit disappointed. And of course, you still get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now I decided to go with the black type cover. It's the basic black, it's $129, but if you opt for the more expensive signature Alcantara type cover, you're going to pay more. I believe it's $159. And sticking with the black theme, I obviously went with the black Surface Pen. Now it has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, uses the Entrick Pen technology, and uses one quadruple A battery. And speaking of the Surface Pen, I want to thank today's sponsor, AlexandraStylus.com. Now I know a lot of you in my audience use Surface Pens with their Surface devices, whether it be a Surface Book, Surface Pro, Surface Laptop, or any of the other Surface devices, the pen tips will wear out over time, so you will need a replacement strategy. But unfortunately, the Microsoft offering doesn't really do the job, and there's a few reasons why. First off, they only give you one HB tip. That's the one people use the most. And the tip remover tool will damage the stylus head over time as well. That's not good either. So I recommend going with the Alexandra Pen Tips, and I want to thank Alexandra for sponsoring today's video and providing a really nice third-party accessory for the Surface Pen. And one thing I really like about it is the fact they give you three HP tips. That's the one people use the most. That's the one people need. And I'm happy to report that they now have the B tips as well, so you have more variety when choosing your Surface Pen replacement tips. My digital artists out there, let me know what you think about these new B tips that Alexandra Stylus are now offering. It's compatible with the new Surface Pen as well as the Surface Pen for the Surface Pro 4. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with the Surface Pro 3's pen. Now, it does work with the black pen as you see here. 
and changing out the tips couldn't be any easier, no tool needed. That's a big leg up over the Microsoft offering. But once again, the star of the show is its 12.3 inch pixel sense display. It has a resolution of 2736 by 1824. That's 267 pixels per inch. And it has a three by two aspect ratio. That's one of my favorite aspect ratios in terms of a nice balance between getting work done and consuming media. And it's definitely a brighter display than the previous model, and it's certainly much sharper. The blacks are really deep, and the colors are very vibrant. And I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces to see how it will fare in the full review. But I can tell you without a doubt, it's one of the best displays out there on a 2-in-1 right now. Now when it comes to using the Surface Pen with this display, it works really well. It really has good palm rejection. As I stated earlier, the pen has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, making it great for the digital artists and the note takers as well. So this is really working out as good as it's gonna get, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really a big fan of the Surface Pen. Of course, I will bring more of that in the full review, so stay tuned for that. And I think it performs really well as a tablet in addition to being able to use it on a desk and sometimes on your lap, although it's not the most lappable despite what Microsoft wants you to believe. But it is a very versatile device and very portable as well, making it easy to carry around town to a boardroom meeting or to a classroom. There are two front facing speakers and they actually are pretty good. I think they're improved over the last model. Let's hear it in action to give you an example on just how they sound. Now it has a multi-stage backlighting in terms of the keyboard and it really lights up well so if you're in a dimly lit or dark environment you can get work done. Now the keyboard itself is really nice to type on especially when you put it on the typing angle. It's pretty sturdy. I like the spacing and I like the overall key travel. I'll report my findings in the full review as I get more in-depth look at it in that review so stay tuned for that. I'm also a big fan of the Precision Touchpad. It's glass, it really feels good, it really is responsive. Two finger scrolling work really well. And the type covers come in a variety of colors as well. I like that. And I really like the sturdy hinge on the kickstand and it also gives you a really good angle and it really is very adjustable. I'm a big fan of this kickstand as you know. When it comes to performance, you're looking at about a 40% increase over last year's model with this 8th generation quad core KB Lake R CPU. But on an interesting note, you'll get a little less performance on the GPU side of things, which is a bit interesting. I'll give you all the benchmarks in that full review after I use it for about a week or so to get a good idea of performance on this device. So far, my initial impressions are that the Surface Pro 6 is looking like a winner. I like its 12.3 inch improved pixel sense display. I like the matte black option, 8th generation quad core CPU. I like that it's fanless and the expected battery improvement. Of course, we'll find out in the full review. So far, the negatives, no USB-C, no Thunderbolt 3. You still have to buy the keyboard and pen separately. And the GPU is a step down from last year's model but there are no real deal breakers I can see so far. Of course, we will see the final results in the full review coming very soon. So what do you think about the Microsoft Surface Pro 6 in black? I actually love it. So far, so good. I'm liking that it has that quad core CPU. It's the eighth generation Intel KB Lake R processor. I like the pen. It's got 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, working really good with the tilt function. It also has a new matte black finish. 
I absolutely love this. And it doesn't really show too many fingerprints. They put a nice coating on it, so you're really protected against those fingerprints, which can make a device look pretty bad. I'm gonna put it through its paces. I'm gonna test the battery life, the display, the performance, of course, with all the benchmarks coming very soon. I'm gonna use it as my daily driver for the next week or so, and then I'll bring you my full review of this Microsoft Surface Pro 6. But I'm curious to know what you think about it so far. Let me know in the comment section below. Is there anything specific you want me to test with this device? Let me know. I'll do my best to make that happen. Uh, again, I love this matte black look. It's sleek looking, it's elegant looking, and it also looks like it means business. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.